Hello everybody, my name is Gatis Kandis and today I will show you how to free up a lot of space on your iPad or iPhone. You have probably heard that you can clear up some space by deleting some files and clearing the cache, uh, which I have done, but it has given me very little extra space uh, because the problem is that the system here, uh, I'll show you, the system and other are taking a lot of space. As you can see in my case, it's taking nearly 10 gigabytes of space and I got a 16 gigabyte iPad which means I have left only like over two over three gigabytes of space uh, and all the apps that I have they're taking in total less than two gigabytes so basically I'm I'm missing 10 gigabytes and this is like a mystery so I called Apple and I talked to them I said what's up like where where, where is all my space and they again telling me the same thing, you know, I need to clear my cache, I need to delete some files, and I've done that. Yet still, this is happening, as you can see, system and other is taking nearly 10 gigabytes of my precious space. So the only really efficient way how to gain back all that space is you had to reset your whole iPad as new, and then you log in again from your account, and then you had to actually reinstall all the apps back on your iPad and this way you're gonna have regain lots of space because if you reset your iPad and then you redownload your backup it will pull back all the old data including the cache and whatever and it will eventually again take up as much space as it is now so I'm gonna demonstrate it I'm actually gonna do it so and before you reset your iPad you take a screenshot you know take a screenshot of your iPad like so and so you save that picture because afterwards when you're gonna reinstall the apps then you're gonna have screenshot and you will know exactly what apps to install back on your iPad okay here we go so you go to general and then you scroll all the way down and then you press reset and then you go to erase all content and settings uh, but make sure that you have backed up all your data you know just in case you need it afterwards and uh, so I'm gonna press that erase all settings so I press erase now he's gonna ask for my passcode I'm gonna enter that and then after you have entered your password you just press erase okay here we go so now it's gonna erase the whole iPad and I will come back when iPad is ready to be continued okay so it looks like my iPad has been reset and it's saying all the hello and bonjour and all all that so then you just press home to open on the next page there is the quick start which says bring your phone close to your iPad so I'm bringing my phone close to your iPad and it should sign in automatically okay now it's connecting so so the next step is very important it's giving you option to restore your apps and data from the iCloud but that is what you don't want to do because if you do that it will pull back all the old data and again you will be out of space Instead, you can choose as a backup or don't restore. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click there. And now there are a few options. And the one you need to choose is don't transfer apps and data. So I'm choosing that one. And so you just go through all the steps and press continue, continue. And then you press, then it says welcome to iPad. And then you press get started. And so now it's giving you like the original screen which you get when the iPad is new. And so now you have option to redownload all the apps that you had before from the picture that you saved. And so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I have reinstalled all the apps back on my iPad. I know they look smaller. I need to figure out how to make them bigger, but that's a minor uh, problem. And so at the moment, uh, some of them still, they are still loading and probably notes as well loading some data and that's why now i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna go to the park for a couple hours i'm gonna leave it so when i come back it will have downloaded everything that it needs and then we're gonna be able to check the space again and i'm back uh, the park was quite fun because finally we had some sunshine outside it was a very good change after a few rainy days we've been having and anyway, so the ipad is ready now and as you can see right now i have used only uh, 8.2 gigabytes out of my 16 gigabytes and before it was about uh, 12 and a half so I've saved about 4 gigabytes at least I've saved at least 4 gigabytes this way and I, st I still have all the same apps that I had before uh, they are here uh, so usually like after a while like that space again builds up I don't know why so when you are running out of space again it usually takes like few months 
uh, when you're running out of space then again you can do the same thing what I did now it doesn't take too much time I think it's best to do it in the evening before you go to sleep because then you can leave the iPad overnight and in the morning it will have lo loaded back all the apps that you had before Anyway, that's how you free up space on your iPad and iPhone. It's the same for iPhone because it's the same system. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention in case Apple is watching this or somebody who works for Apple, uh, may I suggest that you make a little button where we can choose whether we want to keep all that cash on our thing or not. Because it'd be much easier if we could just uh, tap and uh, instead of doing well, what I did because it does take time and effort so it'd be much easier if we as a customers had choice so uh, would be very nice if you considered that then you maybe get even more customers okay over and out now